I wish to know who was responsible for last night's outrage. Huawei Show. Huawei Show. that is quite important. Right. Tula, no? And if you can't Tula, then we'll just assist you out. Right. So, stage is yours. You're more than welcome. Um, good morning, everyone. You know, um, when I'm standing here, I feel like such a preacher. In the name of Giannis. <laughs> but I, um, I don't have, I don't have um, a lot of time. So um, I just wanted to come here and, you know, present an opportunity for myself, really. You know, for my radio TV, and thank you to the head of the school for inviting us. So, um, I've got a radio TV, it's called the Wild Mission Radio TV. Just quickly, I started volunteering at local radio stations, then I, then I worked at Massive Metro. But um, in the journey, it hit me that, you know what, I've, I've got a gift and I've got a talent. And nobody actually wanted to help me. So I decided to invest in myself and open the radio TV. And then now I'm sitting and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm doing all these shows, I'm recording all these shows, but 
I'm not getting through to the young guys. You know, and somebody was like, Chris, baby, it's a show for the young people. And I was like, no, man, I can't. I need the young people to do a show for themselves. You understand? Because I know you guys, when I talk to you guys as individuals, you go through stress, you go through depression, you know, you're angry, you're too happy. You know, so I want to open an opportunity for students in Yandike to have a show for themselves. You know? And it's, it's, not, it's not about big celebrities or posting. I'm opening an opportunity for people to produce a show, someone that says, look, I understand what everybody's going through, so I'm going to script it. I'm going to give you information about depression. I'm going to give you information about stress. Hi, I'm Torello. Hi, I'm Pointe, and we are the Snurms. Today we'll be talking about teenage-based roles in society. So, like, what are exactly teenage-based roles in societies? Like, can you please give an example? You know, as us girls, uh, we have, communities have certain expectations of us, how we are supposed to dress. Topic today is TBR. Um, teenage-based roles in society. Teenage-based roles in society. So me personally, I feel like the community is too stuck up about how we as teenage young teenage women teenage need to be about a certain thing. You know, the reason being da 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 da, da and where now you feel like, uh, but guys, um, why? Do you think people are stuck up about it? Because parents, like people around adults are parents. So they have to be concerned about certain things that we do. Ah, okay. That's true. But now they're cramping our style because we feel that like, we should be this way. Oh, guys, but my dad feels for it. A woman shouldn't dress this way. I feel like this about it. Oh, my mom agrees with that shit. Oh, no, my mom says a woman should be this way. Like, we, we have fun with it. We have fun with it. We're not robots. Talk about it. You guys are parents. You guys have neighbors. You guys have friends, you know? Like, also try and be a, a mouthpiece for people around. I mean, if whatever she's talking about, you are white experience, mm -hmm. you have siblings, right? When your sister... Well, tries to walk out to the gate and you don't that's been with her underwear. What would you say? Uh, oh, God. What took students oh, oh, to do it now? Do you don't like it? You know? <laughs> so if you visit her and her dad says to you, hey, you're not dressed appropriately, what would you say to her about when the dad leaves? To her, not to the dad. Not to the dad, to her. Why should he have a say in... Boom, we style. got it. So if when you feel or a, a certain dress code, like crop tops and leggings or crop tops and whatever you guys wear now is not appropriate because you raised a different way. You know, you, you ask her, but how do you feel about this certain dress code? Because now I feel what as young women, we should be dressed like this. You know, if you don't like it, you tell her, but no, but it makes me feel comfortable. And I feel like it shouldn't be perving on me. Like, mind your own business about it. Yeah? So, do you get the feel? Do you get where I'm going with this, guys? Let's leave the speeches out. It was great. Thanks for the speech. Let's try another road. You know, because I think you're confusing a lot of people here. Yeah? All the edges are, are not understanding where you're going with this. <laughs> And she's vibey. She's very vibey. I heard that. Yeah. You know? So so let's let's not kick anybody out of this. Let's let's put everyone in it. You know, if you have an experience about it, let's talk about the experience. Let's have some girl talking here. You good? Great. You happy? Okay. So you can You can just do your speech at the end. Mm -hmm. yeah, the the purples the purples of this oh when you do it got the, the dynamite talk you can just say the purples of this topic was because of this fact you know? I'm gonna give you information about unprotected unprotected sex I'm gonna give you information about the situations at home 
you know? And we're going to have presenters that are well spoken and they're going to share that information with people. So we're going to record this and we're going to share it with the world, you know? And this is also an opportunity for you to prove to your parents that look, when I say I want to do media things, I'm not talking about TikTok, I'm not talking about Facebook, I'm talking about actual issues that you as my parent would also understand. When I'm sitting in my bedroom and I'm not coming out to eat, you should know why. Watch the show. I spoke about it. You know? I think that makes a lot of sense. You know? But since all of you are not going to be chosen, you know, we're looking for the most unique students. You know? <laughs> we're looking for, for, for unique students because some people are born to be spokesperson for spokespeople for a certain generation. You know? There's some of you that are sitting here now that are gonna be representatives for most of you that are here. You know? I'm talking about a counselor, I'm talking about a mayor, I'm talking about a teacher. Some of you are gonna be teaching your friends' kids. You know? So not everybody wants to do the same thing. So this opportunity, um, we also need your parents to be involved. So when you, when you do sign the register form that's going to come to you a bit later on, um, Skillen is going to help me out with that. Uh, just make sure that you really want to do this. Don't just sign up because you want to be on camera. Just make sure that you really want to express um, for your guys' generation. All right? So your parents are going to be involved. We need them to sign as well to say they approve it that you guys come and participate in this because um, when I do get the students that I want, each and every Saturday, as an extra activity, I need you to be at the studio so we can produce shows and shoot shows and also interact with the rest of the students. You know? I was going to take some questions, but I think we don't have time for that. Um, maybe a bit later on in the year, I'll be able to take your questions, or if we do create a group, I just need permission from the school to create a group for the students that will be involved. Um, we'll talk more about this and then you can tell me more about what you guys go through and then we can shoot that and let the world know what's happening in our minds. Thank you very much. Right guys. Um, so we are waiting for those registration forms. The process will be followed. And um, obviously this will be for somebody who's interested in going into media and somebody who's well spoken. So, you know, not all of us are the same, like um, Gia said, but I want you to make use of this opportunity as it comes along. No? Because these things don't always knock on our doors. All right. So we'd like to thank you. Thank you for choosing on the club. Right. Thank you for phoning and saying, listen, can we do this? And I have to thank Ma'am Julian because she was the one who sent me. She says, can we do this? I said, I just have to find a time. All right. So um, it's only for the grade 10s and 11s, but I know we've got amazing, amazing kids. Right. Who could really, really do this. Or if I say something, I'm already in that space. So how, what Drew know from the onset is don't ever doubt whatever that you know. If, if you know that a Kagifi Kamo setting, my job is um, my job is bringing coffee. Ne? Bringing coffee, taking it to the director. Or coming to the director and saying, You could really, really do this. So uh, let this uh, project of ours also be blessed. Listen for information, it will come through to you. And um, then um, we'll have a few of our kids on, 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 um, on live TV and shows and stuff like that. And we can put that on, on Facebook. Because what did you say? We could, we're going to put Janos on the map for the right reasons, no? Nah? Nah? What keeps us from doing that? Nothing! Nothing! Okay. On, on, um, 
on live TV and shows and stuff like that, and we can put that on, on Facebook. Because what did we say? We could, we're going to put Jonas on the map for the right reasons, no? no? What keeps us from doing that? Nothing. Nothing. Okay? We just have to do it. We just have to do it. All right. Thank you very, very much. We sincerely appreciate it. All right. Oh, shoot it up. Oh, shoot it up.